to my presentation on the purpose of music videos. In this presentation, I'll be looking at pur purposes of music videos to gain further understanding of why they are used, when they first became a thing, how they are used to promote certain things, why they are important, and the advantages of different music video platforms. Why are music videos important to the marketing of an artist or band? Music videos are important as they are the main reason as they are the main way to promote an artist and their songs. This is a known fact as songs with music videos tend to get much more views and therefore more money and promotion for the artist. A good music video can cause even an average song to go viral and gain an incredible amount of income and gain more popularity and more fans. Music videos are essential if you want your music to be showcased on music channels like MTV, 4Music, and various other channels, which help to gain artists more popularity. This is essential if you want to showcase your music and to be famous. How can synergy be used? Films, TV programs, and product placement. Music videos are important for many different reasons, which aren't always recognized by the audience as a lot of things are done very slowly. For example, lots of music videos include promotion for the brands to gain more income, such as product placement, which as you can see is demonstrated in the below images, which are from Little Mix's music video called Hair. As you can see, there's a hair dryer which has the brand's logo on it, GHD. So, that's obviously a product placement. The main reason for product placement is the potential and the promotional and extension of income that comes with it, as brands will pay a lot of money to promote their products. <clears throat> what are the advantages of different music video platforms used to present music videos to an audience? Music channels. The advantages of music channels is that it is free and lets you explore and discover new music videos and artists. And there are a lot and there are music channels dedicated to specific genres, so you can listen to the genre that you choose and that you like the most. The downside is that you can't choose what songs you listen to and you have to watch a lot of ads, which may come as an inconvenience to a lot of people although this creates money for the um, <coughs> artists <coughs> and music channel. The advantages of physical copies like CDs, DVDs, vinyl or even um, downloads on iTunes. The advantages of this are that the artist gets commission for it so fans can support them by buying their albums slash songs and you won't need an internet connection to listen to the songs and you won't have to sit through ads to be able to listen, listen to them and it's a very good way of showing that you support the artist <coughs> and then you have the physical copy for like the rest of your life social media slash YouTube the advantages is that an artist has the opportunity to showcase their work even if they aren't famous and they can gain an audience worldwide to anyone who has access to the internet or the chosen sites and the chosen sites. Um, a good thing about social media and YouTube is that very small artists can make themselves become very popular and much bigger through these sites as they can promote themselves and it's, it's, if they're good, it's quite easy for them to gain a following. <coughs> what are the different levels of producers' strategies? Major labels. Major labels have big distribution and a dominant market share. The examples of major label are Sony Music Entertainment and Warner Music Group major labels. 
um, Warner Music Group. Major labels tend to be highly financed, which means they can afford better production, distribution, marketing and manufacturing. This can usually result in two um, better music videos, better concerts and better outcomes for the artist as independent. <coughs> No major distribution, but independent labels have no major distribution, but can be large or small labels. For an example of a independent label are No Limit Records and Fiction Records. Independent labels tend to be more creative as they can find more raw talent and use creative development, marketing or financing tactics. <coughs> and, independent, and independent labels are not as restricted as major labels, yet they also don't have um, a very high income most of the time, they're not as well known, but they can still offer quite a lot of um, opportunities for the artist. A um, self-produced artist, being a self-produced artist can be slightly more difficult as you have to market and distribute yourself, but it allows you to, allows you ultimate freedom to do whatever you want to do. It can also be quite difficult to put yourself out there, but with social media, makes it a lot um, a lot easier. Uh, this is my Purpose of Music Videos presentation. Um,